Hello and welcome everyone, in this video we will see is it immoral to cast underage actors for mature rated films. Welcome to the question answer channel. Today's answers will be presented by Vitmore, Michael B., Andrew Wiltshire and Jay Shelton. We'll start with the first answer by Vitmore. Hi, it depends on the movie. If you're talking about movies like, Pretty Baby, where a 12-year-old Brooke Shields was highly sexualized, it is absolutely immoral, but if you're talking about horror and scary movies, not really, if done well. The most important thing is that they have to cast the right young actors. Not only young actors that can act but also young actors that can deal with what the role requires of them, without being traumatized or begging to quit. A good example is 2017's, It. Andres Muschietti, the director of the film, made sure that the young cast wouldn't see Bill Skarsgård in costume until they had to film their respective scenes with him, to get a genuine reaction from them. Bill, who had to film with them, was surprised when he found out that he was more scared of scaring them than they were of him. In an interview with Jimmy Kimmel he explained how he felt while filming his iconic, fridge scene, with Jack Dylan Grazer. It was my first day of shooting and we deliberately kept me separate from the kids. There was this one scene, very intense, and my first day so I needed to get into character. And in the scene I walk out and approach him and it's very intense, I'm right in his face, drooling all over him and he's crying. We blocked it briefly and then did it. And I'm doing this clown thing and screaming. Part of Pennywise is he hates kids. And I approach him and scream in his face and we're doing the scene, and he's crying and gagging, and in the back of my head I'm like, oh my god, I'm traumatizing this child. What am I doing? And then they yell, cut, and I go, are you okay, Jack? And he goes, love what you're doing, love what you're doing with the character. And I was like, thank you, Jack. Bill and Andy always took the time to lift up the mood and make the kids feel happy and safe even when filming the most horrific scenes. Thank you for reading. The next answer is from Michael B. Not if you're careful with how you use them. The Shining is an R-rated film based on horror master Stephen King's novel of the same name, and was directed by odor filmmaker Stanley Kubrick. It is remembered for its haunting story and many disturbing scenes, to the point that it almost got an X rating when it first came out. But despite the fact that Kubrick nearly drove lead actress Shelley Duvall to a nervous breakdown, child actor Danny Lloyd didn't even realize he was filming a horror movie until years later. He was never given the full script, and was never on set when the more horrifying aspects of the film were shot. By all accounts he thought he was filming a rather dull family comedy. He allegedly once wandered onto the set while Jack Nicholson's character was trying to commit axe murder, causing Nicholson to improvise a silly, tomahawk dance. And that's how you use child actors in mature films. You isolate them from the mature aspects, and use editing and camera trickery to paper over the gaps. The following answer is from Andrew Wiltshire. Depends. Jacob Tremblay has been in some pretty horrible films, particularly his prolonged death scene in Doctor Sleep, but apparently he's a consummate professional actor and recognizes the difference between reality and acting. He was 12 when he was first murdered and 11 when he had his first run-in with the Predator. As for a moral, that's a bit of a stretch. Not related to film exactly, but I staged the play Frankenstein at my school. It was for the older pupils and the audience was warned on their tickets and on signs outside the auditorium that some scenes might be too frightening for pupils under 14 years old. We had a younger pupil, an 11-year-old who was also small even for his age, playing Frankenstein's younger brother, who was killed horribly by the monster. It was visceral and disturbing to watch, though cleverly choreographed, if I do say so myself. After the show one parent approached me and said it was inappropriate to have a young child killed so horribly on stage. He literally had his head smashed in, it was a latex-painted watermelon, they expressed concern for the young lad's mental state having to do such a thing. I told the parent that it took many, many rehearsals before we got it that horrible. Why? Not because it was so difficult to act, but that the boy and the monster were constantly laughing at what they were doing. The kid absolutely reveled in making the audience, literally in some cases, scream. What do you think? We will continue with Jay Shelton's answer. It depend on the movie. There are plenty of movies that are so bad that it is immoral to star anyone in them, regardless of age. No one should have been in Troll 2 or Battlefield Earth. However, how about about Olivia Dabrowska who was three years old when she had a role in the R-rated Schindler's List? She is arguably one of the most important characters in the film. Morals are very subjective. What is immoral to one person is perfectly acceptable to another. Because of that, trying to call something immoral really isn't an argument that people will agree on. Look at the artistic merits of the movie and go from there. This is the end of the video. I hope you have more answers. If this answer helps you, please help us too by leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. It allows us to move forward on YouTube. This is now the end of this video. Remember to leave a comment to tell us if these answers resonate with you. Bye and see you soon.